So when the DJI FPV drone came out, like a couple months, maybe a few weeks after that, I was on uh, Facebook and I was asking, has anyone taken apart one of these batteries? Does anybody know how to get into one? Um, and people were like, why would you want to do that? And uh, my response was to probably use regular lithium polymer batteries. And the negative Nancys were like, you can't do it. It won't work. Blah, 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 blah. Well, today I'm going to tell you and show you how you could possibly save yourself some money if you're willing to destroy one of your $150 DJI FPV batteries. Let's check it out. So how's it going everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Big Ball Vlogs. I do reviews, news, everyday vlogging, and every once in a while I'll do a tutorial. Today's going to be more like a tutorial because I want to talk about how you could possibly save yourself some money or maybe, you know, open up a, a, a world of different options when it comes to FPV bat or batteries for your DJI FPV drone. If you're willing to destroy or take apart one of your $150 FPV batteries. Now, the reason that you're paying $150 for these batteries is because DJI has a circuit board in here, not just the uh, the, the the PCB that controls the, the distribution of power from the actual cells, they actually have a different circuit board in there that they, that allows you to use um, these batteries with your DJI FPV drone. These batteries are actually smart batteries. So they receive firmware updates and they regularly check themselves for any errors or damage and you know report back to the drone so that you don't go up and fly your drone and then have the drone come crashing down because you have a bad battery or a bad cell like you might in one of your you know standard lithium polymer batteries. So having dealt with, you know, almost every DJI drone, I know a lot of guys have done modifications to their batteries in order to do long range flights. With the Mavics, guys are strapping on, you know, additional battery packs and getting, you know, like crazy, crazy range and crazy, crazy long time flights by just doing a couple of modifications. Now, the way you do the modification is to get into a standard DJI battery and remove that 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 uh that circuit board that has all of the firmware updates on it if the, if the drone can't talk to that circuit board it will not allow you to use the battery so like i said um, a couple months back i was like hey now this is a chunky bird i mean it, it's pretty heavy maybe we might want to you know be able to fly it lighter and maybe we might want to be able to go out and buy regular batteries and save ourselves a lot of money you know instead of buying several of these for 150 dollars a piece um, and you know, like I said, guys are like, you can't do it. You, you, it's not able to be done. And I, I get it, right? You, you guys haven't been used to the DJI ecosystem. You haven't played with DJI drones. So today, I thought I would do a video to show you how. And I'm not the first one to do it. Actually, Newbie Drone released a product called the DJI Fly Even More Kit. If you're not familiar with that kit, what they did was they took uh, a standard DJI battery like this one, and they took it apart, and then they had a polymer um, casing or shell that they had uh, 3D printed. And then they kind of took the circuit board, put it into the shell, and then they supplied you with, a big, I believe it was five of their own lithium polymer batteries, which were, which were the same um, capacity and I believe discharge rate as the standard DJI batteries. But with one downside is that they were substantially heavier than the DJI batteries. Now, Newbie Drone claims that, you know, it's, it's cheaper. Our batteries are only $71 compared to a DJI battery, which is you know, $150, but you're actually not gaining anything because you're still getting the same flight time. You're still getting the same capacity with the additional weight. So actually with the additional weight, you're probably going to get less flight time. Yes, you're going to save some money because the batteries are cheaper, but really do you want to, you know, add the additional weight for, for a drone that's already quite heavy and gives you, you know, that shaky kind of unstable feel because of the weight of the drone already. So no, that in my occasion, in my opinion, no, you wouldn't want to do that. So I would just go with the standard DJI batteries, get about four of them and call it a day. So today, what I want to talk to you about is how Newbie Drone did it and show you how you can do it with your own batteries. It's not going to be as pretty as Newbie Drones unless you have a 3D printer and you can figure out how to make yourself some type of case to uh, support or hold the modified batteries. But yes, it can be done. So this is your standard DJI battery. And let me get a scale here real quick. <clears throat> Sorry. This is probably not going to go too well because the reflection of my scale is totally dirty. So excuse the dirtiness of the scale. Get that on. Okay, if I can get that to kind of center out for me. Okay, so your standard DJI battery is going to come in at around 258 grams. You probably can't see that because of the total mess on my scale. 258 grams. Now, let's say you wanted to fly a little bit lighter. This is a 1300 milliamp hour six cell lithium pack. And to be honest with you, I am off here. I think I'm off because the scale did not tar out. So let me tar out the scale again. Okay, that zeroed out. Oh, it was touching the drone. So let's see. 
your standard DJI battery is going to come in at 268 grams. And this lithium battery, let me try that out again because it's, I think it's because I'm on this softer surface. Try that out. Standard battery here is going to come in at 183 grams. So there's a substantial weight loss in that. And then let's say you wanted to even go with something like this. These are uh, Molice uh, 2600 milliamp hour. I believe these discharge at like 20C um, batteries, uh, maybe even more than 20C. I can't remember how much these discharge at, but probably a good 50 amps plus. They're high discharge lithium cells. Oh, let me get those on there. Let me tar that out. These are actually coming in a little bit heavier at 275 grams. But in this situation, you're actually getting additional capacity. Remember, the original DJI batteries are only 2,000 milliamp hours, and these are 2,600 milliamp hours. So you're going to get longer flight times with only a little bit more weight added to the drone. So I know a lot of you guys are flying with GoPro. So with only a little bit more weight, if you do this modification, you're going to get longer flight times and higher discharge rates, which are probably going to lead to better power um, coming out of the drone's power plant, so your, your, your motors. And then I actually even thought about going with something like this. These are the bigger Molice 4,000 milliamp hour um, 21700s, but I wasn't able to go with these because the drone's opening, or what do you call it, the opening for the battery, I couldn't fit six of them in there. I can only fix, fix, six, fit four of them in there. So we're not going to go with these, but that was another option. I was like, hey, 4,000 milliamp hours, that's a long range drone and a half if you can get those in there, but I can't do it. Not that it can't be done. It's just you would have to figure out a way to support it how to support it from the drone, maybe put a base here and then put a strap around it there and then you'll be good to go. But for now, I'm gonna leave that out. I'm gonna get the scale out of the way. And now we're gonna go into the actual battery itself. So here is a DJI battery with which I have already kind of taken apart, but I wanted to put it back together to show you how to do it, to get it apart. It doesn't seem like it wants to come apart in the beginning. So the reason it doesn't wanna come apart for you is that there are two things holding it together. There is this sticky pad here, I get the focus. Can't remember which side of the camera is on. So there's the sticky pad on top, which is actually going to hold this shell to the top of that battery. And then on the inside, there are little clips all the way around. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to remove these two screws and just like pop it off. It's going to feel like it wants to break. As you can see, this is flexed a little bit because I had to peel it back, but it didn't break. You can hear the tape start to pull away once you start pulling the top off. Just try not to pull too hard and get the tape to pull off the the um, the, uh, the, the wrapping on the internal batteries. You don't want to damage those. You could actually save that whole battery pack if you're going to do this modification like uh, Newbie Drone did to create yourself like a, a charging pack for other um, devices or chargers um, that you may have that run off of uh, like, a, I don't know, an XT60 or XT30. So once you get into the battery, again, there's going to be another piece of tape on the bottom here. And you're going to have to kind of like gently get this out. And the way you do it is to kind of like pull the sides apart, free up everything, and then get a pair of pliers if you can like a pair of needle nose pliers and try to grab that PCB board right there where there's no contacts where you can short this out. Again, let me get that to focus for you. Try to grab it on those corners there and just kind of like pull it out and wiggle it out. And as you're going to wiggle it out, you're going to also pull out the actual um, power button and the connector here. So let me start pulling this apart for you to show you how I did it. I started pulling apart the connector like that and I just got this PCB board, like I said, and just started wiggling it out. And it's probably gonna give me a hard time because I had to get it back in there. I don't have my pliers with me. So you're going to pull that out and wiggle that out at the same time. I'm not trying to move, remove the whole battery um, by, like, again, getting your, getting your, well, I can't do it from the bottom now, but you can actually grab it here probably once you get it out and get your hands around there and get it, like, around here. Everything's a little bit loose after you've kind of broken all the little glue seals. Also, there's going to be, see this white glue here? That's going to be attached to this little rail here, too. So you're probably going to have to get, like, a little pry bar or something to slide it down there and cut that glue away from the body. So I'm going to have to pull this from away from the camera for a minute because I can't do this through the camera and I'm going to get that out. But basically the gist of it is to, to remove the glue, sorry, to remove the glue from here, remove the, any type of sticking tapes that may be around the side by kind of flexing this out a little bit. And this is hollow. So as you can see, my finger goes right through there um, by flexing this out a little bit and then getting a pair of pliers so you can get a grip on that PC board and then wiggling it out. So give me one second and let me do that. Okay, I actually went and got my pliers so that I can give you a demonstration how to do it. Like I said, you're gonna to try to grab right here on the edge where there's no circuitry there to kind of damage. But a hole is, get a nice little grip on it, and start wiggling it out. This is actually, like you can hear it sticking because of that tape. 
I told you that was on the bottom. And that's why I didn't want to come out easily for me. So once you get, like I said, you cut the, make sure you kind of cut through on these little glue tabs here that may have run or contacted the side of the case and wiggle it out. And then you have the 6S cell lithium. They say these are lithium ion, but they look like form factor of lithium polymer. You have six cells there. These are just side covers that were stuck to the sides. It's pieces of plastic, which, you know, you might want to be cautious of because as I, could, as I told you, this is hollow. Excuse me, this is hollow. So something could actually puncture that and puncture to the side of the cells. There's no protection on the side except for that thin piece of uh, plastic there. But once you got it out, this is what you got. You have the original batteries, and then you have the power distribution board that they soldered other batteries to. And then you have this. This is the this is DJI's proprietary um, smart battery controller, I would call it. As you can see, there's a power button there. And what I can do is I can press that power button to show you that this is still functional. Still powers up, still good to go. I'll power it back down. All right. Now, once you get this out, this is what you're going to need to make your um, your jumper board essentially for any other lithium polymer battery. And the way you will want to do that, or any lithium ion battery, is to, as you can see, you flip this over. And you're going to remove these two wires, which are your positive and negative from the battery itself. And you're going to solder on an XT60 to these two connections, XT30, XT60, whatever your your connector your connector of choice is. Now, um, in order for this to work, you're also going to have to solder in the balancing tabs. And the balancing wires are, you want to get yourself a 6S balancing plug, and your balancing wires are here. So normally you have positive, you have wires in the middle, and then you have a negative. So for 6S, you should have seven wires. you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, when I looked at the video that I found for the one guy who took apart one of the newbie drums batteries on how they did it, um, or their balancing, uh, or sorry, their... Uh, their circuit board, they actually soldered wires into these wires, like they cut them here, and then they soldered, soldered a connector onto this. These are very tiny wires, and while you could do it, I don't actually recommend doing that, because if you look here, you can actually see that all of the balancing um, connector have, uh, have soldering pads here. So you got power one, cell two, three, four, five, six, and then you have negative. So you could actually pull this plug out and then solder your balancing connector directly here. Now, the only thing I haven't figured out about this battery, which doesn't, I don't know, I got to go back and look at the newbie drone battery, is that it has, on the bottom here, it has these two black wires here that are coming out. They actually say that they're ground wires, but they actually go into nowhere. They kind of just go into the side of this battery, and I'm thinking that might actually be a thermocouple. I don't think that's actually um, a power wire, I think it's just a thermocouple that would probably tell you if you have an overheating condition that's sitting between these two cells. I didn't get a chance to go in there and peel that out. I won't do that until I actually disassemble this totally. But I think that's just uh, another, you know, safety feature to make sure that these batteries don't overheat on you. Or especially when you're like, um, when you have batteries and you've been flying them and they're hot, I believe the DJI char chargers won't charge up them until they've cooled down. So that might be a thermocouple that tells, you know, the the board here that that battery is too hot to charge or the battery is getting too hot and you might want to kind of bring it down and not um, fly anymore with it because there's a, a bad cell or damaged cell. So now once you have that out, you'll have this board, which you'll have to figure out how to kind of like protect, maybe wrap it with shrink wrap and figure out how to mount that into the drone itself. I was thinking maybe to kind of like, for me, probably like figure out a way to kind of like take these wires and run them and then just plug this in, but have it mounted either, I don't know, it's, I'll be sloppy with it for the first one until I kind of figure out the whole modification. But have it somewhere in here so that when I put batteries in here, the PC board is protected. And, you know, I plug into the PC board and the PC board or the power, the, uh, the smart board. And the smart board is already plugged into the to the drone. And I'll probably leave it so that it's powered on um, so that I don't have to keep powering it up after um, every startup. But maybe I, I might have to because once you disconnect, disconnect the battery, it's going to turn off the battery um, power and it's going to shut this down. So... That is my idea, but let me just show you, like I said, an idea of how batteries would fit in here. Like I said, if I had a bigger battery, like I said, the biggest I have right now is a 1300. A 1300 would kind of fit in there like that. Or even with this 1300, you could fit it in there like that, and you got all the space down here. Or, you know, sorry, I get that to focus in. I, I can do it like that and still have a lot of space up top. So there's plenty of space to tuck that, that board away. Um, I'm thinking that if I got like a 1500 milliamp hour battery and it was a little bit longer, it's going to stick out a little bit. But um, not enough to kind of like, you know, I don't know. I guess, it, it, yeah, I guess it might stick out a little bit further than the original battery. But another thing I got to do is figure out how to support this. Now that I've taken out the original battery, there are no rear supporting feet. 
So I'll probably have to figure out how to modify this so that I can use, actually use this case as sort of like a, a carriage shell for whatever batteries I'm going to put in there so it holds them. And then this would kind of still have everything kind of plugged in through the PC board. And I might put the PC board back in here or the uh, smart board back in here and, um, you know, use it like Newbie Drone did and get batteries to fit in there. Now, like I said, if I wanted to go with the 2600s, I thought I can get the 2600s to fit in there, but they would not fit standing up straight like this. I'm sorry for the focus. I'm standing up in the cameras kind of hard to get the angle, but they wouldn't fit like this. They wouldn't fit standing up. And I was like, I thought I can get them to fit in there lying down on their sides. And it's just not wide enough to hold all six flat or flush. Let me get the last one. So that's all six. And as you can see, they stick out a little bit on the top and there's not enough clearance. Even though there's a little bit of clearance, in there, there's not enough clearance to hold that. And as you can see, like I said, they're just they're just just that much um, wider than the shell to, to prevent them from laying side by side flush in there. So I can't like force it because it will cause this to expand and it won't fit inside the uh, the drone body. At least I haven't tried yet, but an idea. Like I said, I could take these, solder them up, make a 6S pack, and then take that 6S pack and essentially install the 6S pack in here and somehow get it supported with a band, like some rubber bands or, you know, some kind of, you know, strap that I, I fashioned to hold them in. Sorry, I'm dropping stuff all over the place now. Some kind of, uh, you know, strap like you would do for your regular drone and just get them to fit in there. But just to give you an idea of how they would fit in there, if I load them in. Get them all in there. It kind of will fit in there, something like that. Now I got, like I said, a six, uh, two twenty six hundred milliamp hour battery versus a two thousand milliamp hour battery, and I believe these are a lot higher discharge than the original DJI cells. And as long as you got it all soldered up with a balancing connector on it, just like the newbie drone um, fly even more kit, all you got to do is plug in the balancing plug to the balancing plug on the smart board, on the drone or on the smart board from DJI. Then plug in your XT60 into the wires that will power that, and then plug that into the drone, and you should be good to go, just like the newbie drone. Now, newbie drone kit costs like 500 bucks, and people are like, "Man, 500 bucks? That's a lot." I reached out to newbie drone and asked them if they would ever come out with just the the case alone with the power board in it and the uh, the battery that they remove from it they, that they give you as an additional, um, and they said they're looking to expand um, that line. Because I told them, I said, with the additional weight of those batteries you're supplying um, and 500 bucks, it just doesn't make it attractive enough for somebody want to, you know, to want to go to your your fly even more kit. And they said that they would think about it. Um, I'm hoping that they would probably do something like that for guys who just, like I said, want that shell and could, you know, probably use the the their own batteries to to make their own packs and not have to go with, um, you know, those $71 batteries because, like, you know, lithium polymer batteries, lithium ion batteries, you can get these lithium ion batteries for about, I don't know. Five dollars a piece. That's thirty dollars there, and then a lithium polymer battery for like let's say a fifteen hundred or maybe even an eighteen hundred. You're probably going to look at thirty or forty dollars for that battery. So that's all I wanted to show you. This is going to be an ongoing project. Um, I have started it by you know, kind of taking that apart. I got to get my balancing plug for it, um, and then I'm going to start looking at different options that will fit in here and weight options, and get back to you on what I found out would be like an awesome, you know, power to weight uh, setup for the DJI FPU drone. And I also got to figure out how to support, like I said, this now that I'm removing the feet from the original battery. So I might have to figure out how to get like some kind of 3D printed um, legs like this that will probably go on the back and uh, support this up off the ground um, once it's all said and done. So if you guys got any ideas, please leave some comments in the comment box below and I'll get back to you soon. Talk to you later.